My name is Carol Gamble and I am graduating in the year 2021. In March, when they announced that there was going to be no more school, like any other student, I was really happy and excited. Being the fact that I won't be in the school building for like two weeks or three weeks out of fun. But then they announced that school was going to be closed for two months and then three months before I know that school was closed for the rest of the year. What college mail-out means to me is basically it's a Bronx prep tradition. That I have always partaken in, in cheerleading. It's a time where we're all brought together to celebrate the colleges that we get into. I found it very important that even though COVID was happening, that we still found a way to have Man All Day. Ever since I came to Bronx Prep in the sixth grade, I've been waiting for the moment to run down those stairs and mail out my college application. I've seen all the seniors mail out their college applications and I couldn't wait to be in that same position and I never thought I would make it here, but here I am, you know. It's been so many tribulations, so many trials. You know, this school has been so great to me as much as I've gone through. It's really special because like, I've seen like all the seniors, previous seniors go downstairs and like go to the college they won't have their choice in. It's like something I've always wanted to do. Where you finally get to move on to a next chapter and you finally get to run down the stairs. I've been here since sixth grade, so it's something like really sad that I don't get to actually do the whole process. But I mean, something is something and I just, I'm just excited to see where we all land. It means that getting accepted to a college. Seeing my brother walk down those steps, his friends cheering his name, it was something that I was like, and since I look up to him, it's sort of like a legacy thing for me. I came here since freshman year, and I always see the other seniors do their mail out day. And it's something that they allow middle school to be part of the event, so I remember always thinking to myself, like, in a couple of years, that's going to be me running down those steps. So it was so beautiful. Everyone would come. It was like a sense of community. Because we make posters in class. They have their, their the flag that they're going to go to, and they're waving it. The seniors always running down the stairs and showing their colleges. And I always wanted to partake in that. You know, you always get to see each each graduating class going down the steps, you know, celebrating their senior year. There's a BP tradition where our students get to celebrate our college applications and all them in. This is a Bronx prep tradition. We always do this every year. Like, it's like a rite of passage because that's how you, like, that's how you know that you're, like, officially a senior. A lot of us have been here since sixth grade, and this was supposed to be, like, our family time, but even though it got kind of taken away, at least we're all here now through video, just chilling, and we're celebrating for each other because we all are going to the places where we want to go. It allows the seniors to express their feelings towards their college application process. And Mail Law Day is a special Bronx Prep tradition that I've always wanted to be a part of ever since I first saw the seniors walk down the steps in fifth grade. It's Mail Law Day that kind of changed because we're doing it like this instead of uh, in a group outside. So to have the whole school on your back supporting you as you reach the finish line is very important and special to me. My sisters have been here, Pamela Coleman, Kathleen Coleman, shout out to them. And they've set like the steps for me to be graduating now. And I've been waiting for this year since fifth grade. Being a VP for like 10 years and seeing every single senior right now and see the, the crowd hype, um, seeing that since like such a young age made me feel like I was a part of BB, so being the special senior that, run it, that runs down in the crowd and says the college he's going to is a um, special, special feeling. Um, you know, um, you know, moving on, go to college, make new memories, I'm gonna miss the high school memories, but Mail Out Day is definitely something I'm gonna remember. It puts you in the, the place of mind that makes you perform the best that you can, and I guess that's what Mail Out Day does. Even though I know I'm really just spending 20 minutes going to the post office just to turn around, I get a sense of happiness about doing it. And Mail Out Day means a lot to me because I'm the first one in my family who ever experienced it. Basically, I'm the first one in my family who ever graduated in the United States. Um, the opportunity to show off your accomplishments throughout the struggles BP has put you through, but in the end it's all worth it because they're taking you to college and for a brighter future for yourself and for everyone else. To me, Mel Day is an experience where we get to 
go through a breakthrough and it's an important part in our senior year because this is where we take the first step into the college process and it's our future. It's like a turning point in my life because you know I'm stepping up um, I'm sending my college applications to the colleges and uh, you know I'm waiting for the acceptances and if I do get accepted all I know is that like I'm going up and I'm just going to keep on going up from there. I came to the school in the sixth grade and I've seen every single one of my upperclassmen go through this process and to know that my year might be different but it's still the same in terms of the accomplishment and the achievement that I have done so it's great to be able to do this for myself after being on the sidelines for so many years. And during the pandemic, the college application process was kind of easy because I had more time to fill out applications. It's, it's generally like kind of harder to do it during a pandemic because like of distractions or not being able to um, like physically be at school so your college counselors can help you. The college process was very difficult process, very like confusing as well, but um, you get through it, I mean, like time and with the help of your peers, you could get through it uh, with the college process during these um, times and the pandemic as well. Learning, learning for me, I'm like more of like a visual person. I'm like seeing it like on the laptop is not the same as seeing it in person because in person, you got the teacher right next to you. It was kind of hard because I had a lot of questions. I feel like during this pandemic, it's been hard for me to I practice school, but yet um, I do still get more help with my parents and sisters. Personally, for me, it was pretty easy. Um, the writing process, the essay writing, no, but it was simpler than I thought it would be. And you know, when colleges ask you, why do you want to apply here? That did get me stumped on some of them, but I still pushed through and here we are. Yeah, I try to make the best out of every situation, even though it's quite difficult. I always have my family and my friends to support me, so I really appreciate that. In-person support helps us understand the process better and gives us less stress. This whole college process for me was really hard because I wanted my senior year to be with my friends, and I ended up having to do it alone in my house, and it was kind of hard because I didn't have anyone, but I'm grateful that I still got through it and I'm getting accepted to the colleges that I like. Uh, what Mail Out Day means to me is uh, it's, it's the next 10 years of your life, you know? The next four years, the next five years, it's, it's the next chapter you take in life, you know, the next couple of chapters. That day uh, leads up to what you do in life, and if you succeed, if you don't succeed, and the steps you take into being a, an adult and uh, being a different person than you were in high school. Yeah. Hey,